Okay, so we'll come to math story ah, and to find the solution of the system of nonlinear equation using the substitution method. So from this given, first we need to transform this equation since this one is a parabola. So therefore, variable with exponent 2 on the left side and the rest transpose to the right side. So we have this y squared, so therefore, all y on the left side, so we have now y squared, then minus 6y then equals, transpose this negative 4x to the right side, that becomes positive 4x, then plus 11. Then do completing the squared, so take this number, that's 6, divide by 2, take the squared, so equals 6 divided by 2, that's 3, and 3 squared, that's 9. Then we need to add these numbers on y. So we have now y squared minus 6y plus this number, so plus 9, then equals... 4x plus 11, then also we need to add 9 on the right side. Then apply now the factoring. So y squared, that's y. This one is negative, so minus. And for 9, that's 3 times 3. So we have the quantity of y minus 3, then to the power 2. Then equals this 4x. Then plus this 11 plus 9, that's 20. So this is now the new equation number 1. Then observe from this equation number 1, we have this y minus 3, then quantity to the power 2, and in the equation number 2, y minus 3 quantity to the power 2. So therefore, we can substitute this 4x plus 20 to this equation because y minus 3 quantity to the power 2 and y minus 3 quantity to the power 2 is equal to 4x plus 20. So from equation number 2, so this is now the new equation. So we have 4 times 3 minus x equals. So this quantity of y minus 3 to the power 2 is equal to 4x plus 20. Then simplify to solve for x. So 4 times 3, that's 12 and 4 times negative x, that's negative 4x, then transpose this positive 4x, that becomes negative 4x, and transpose this positive 20, that becomes negative 20, then equals 0. Then combine like terms, so negative 4x and negative 4x, that's negative 8x, then this positive 12 minus 20, that's negative 8, then equals 0. Then to solve for x, so we need to transpose this negative 8 to the right side. So this becomes negative 8x equals positive 8. Then divide both sides by negative 8, so cancel. So therefore, x is equal to, so positive divide by negative, that's negative, and 8 divide by 8, that's 1, so x is equal to negative 1. Then this time, to solve for y, so to solve for y, so any of these two equations, so, to solve for y using this equation number 1, so from equation number 1, 
So we have now y minus 3 to the power 2 equals 4 times x and x is negative 1 then plus 20. Then simplify so we can rewrite this one twice. So y minus 3 times y minus 3 then equals this positive 4 times negative 1, that's negative 4, then plus 20, then simplify, so apply the FOIL method, so y times y, that's y squared, and y times negative 3, negative 3y, then this negative 3 times y, so, negative 3y and negative 3 times negative 3, that's positive 9, then equals this negative 4 plus 20, that's positive 16. Then simplify, so we have y squared, this negative 3y and negative 3y, that's negative 6y, then plus 9. And transpose this positive 16, that's negative 16, then equals 0. Then we have now y squared minus 6y, this positive 9 minus 16, that's negative 7, then equals 0. Then from this quadratic equation, we can apply now the factoring. So, factors of y squared, that's y times y. And factors of negative 7, that's 7 and 1. Since the middle term is negative, so therefore the bigger number must be negative. So, 7 is negative and 1 is positive. Then to solve for y, so equate these factors to 0. So, y minus 7 equals 0. The other one, y plus 1 equals 0. So, therefore, y is equal to positive 7. So, transpose this negative 7 and the other one. y equals transpose this positive 1. That's negative 1. So, therefore, the solution of this nonlinear equation, so let's start with x. So, if x is negative 1, y is positive 7. And the other one, if x is negative 1, y is also negative 1. So, this is now the solution of this nonlinear equation.